Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we are going to learn how to build a rule engine in our Spring Boot application. So as we know rule engine is an expert system program which runs the rules on the input data and if any condition matches, then it executes the corresponding action. In software development, there are often situations where we need to apply a set of rules or condition to filter and process data. Managing these rules using traditional if and else condition can become cumbersome and difficult to maintain. But a rule engine provides a more flexible and organized approach to define and execute these rules. So today in this video, we will explore how to build a simple rule engine in Spring Boot project using functional programming principle. Okay, let's start to write the code. So here I have created one Spring Boot application and inside this application, I have created one controller class that is user controller and inside user controller, I have created one get endpoint and this rest endpoint will return all the user list that I have added here. So one I once I will run this application, I will check this rest endpoint is working fine or not. So let me start. So here we can see our application has started at port number 8080. So let me execute this endpoint. So here we can see we are getting the response from API. We have one, two, three and four users with different name and different age. These four users we have added here. But here we are returning all the users. Now we will use the rule engine. The rule engine is responsible for managing a collection of rules and applying them to the uh, set of objects. So it will filter the object based on the defined rules and will return the filtered result. For example, if we have there is requirement to return the user's name start with sum and age is greater than 30, then we can use rule engine. So we no need to write any if else condition, we can directly use the rule engine. So okay, let me start. So here I will create one package. So we can give any name to package here. I am just giving common. So inside this package, I will create one interface. So here I can give any name. So here I will just give the name as test rule and it will be the interface and inside this interface I will add one method so that will be predicate return type so here we can declare generic method and here we need to import the class that is from java.util function and its return type is generic uh, represented by t and predicate is a functional interface having method test t and return type is boolean so let me implement this method in our class so here let me create one enum and this enum will implement this interface so here i will go java class and here i can define the name is rule so it will be the enum inside this enum we will define the rule so let me implement test rule now we need to add unimplemented methods so that is get predicate method coming from test rule interface here we are going to implement this rule engine for our user class so let me declare instance variable and inside predicate we will pass as a parameter user and we'll import this class now we need to define the rules that we want to implement so here i just want to implement the users and want to filter out the data uh, which username starts with sum and the second rule i want to implement the user age is greater than 30.
so add constructor parameter so let me create constructor so here we need to pass the parameter as a predicate user and here i will just return predicate object this dot predicate and we'll pass the predicate so it will create so here i have defined two rules first is user age is greater than 30 and second i want to filter out the user which name starts with sum so these two rules here i have defined we can define multiple rules here i have just defined two so now let me go and create a rule engine let me create one more class name with the rule engine let me create and here i will use type parameter so here let me define the list of test rules and will import the class here from java.util package Next, i will use the empty constructor without any parameter and will create one empty list now we'll create one method that will be used to add the rules so here i have created this method next let me add a method that will use to filter the list of items so this is the filter method that is the main method that will be used in rule engine class this method will take input item of type t as an input and it create a new list that is the filtered items so this is the new list that we are creating and inside this list we are adding all the items after applying the rules and then we are returning the filtered list based on these rules it will filter all the data and will return the items so in this list we are getting four objects that we are getting in the api response and here we can see we have applied the rules the user age is greater than 30 and name start with sum so once once it will get the four objects it will apply the rules and after applying the rules we will just get one object because in our response we have only one user name start with sum and age is greater than 30 so after applying these rules we will just get only single object so let me go back to intellij so here we can see rules.stream create a stream from the rules list and after that all match ensure that all rules must be satisfied for the item and here we can see rule dot get predicate dot test item so it applies the predicate of each rule to the item so if the item satisfies all the rules it is added to the filter list item then it will return the list so this is our main class that is a rule engine class this class will handle the management and execution of the rules this is a method add rules that will be used to add the rules if i will go in test rule so it is a unimplemented method inside our interface that we can say abstract method inside our rule class or rule enum we have defined the rules so here we can see each rule in the enum represent a specific condition or criteria that we want to evaluate so now our rule is ready and our rule engine is also ready let me go to our user controller class and we'll see how to use these rule engine in our controller class so here first i will create one rule engine class object and we can give rule engine as a name new rule engine and inside rule engine we can add the rules so here we can add the rules here we are applying the rule engine for user model so here we can pass user and here we can use so let me add the rules so we'll go to rule in now and inside rule in them we can get all the rules age greater than 30 or so let me first apply only one rule 
that is the user age is greater than 30 so let me stop my application and start it again mm -hmm. So here I have added only one rule, it will filter out the list and will return all the users which age is greater than 30. So here we have two users Sumit and Kalash which age is greater than 30. So here we can see our application has started. So let me go back and refresh the same endpoint. So here we are getting some error. Here we are getting some error that get predicate is null. Okay, let me go back to test tool class. We uh, forget to implement this method. So inside rule engine, if I will go here, so here we need to implement this method. So this method will just return the predicate. So here I will use user model we are using. So it will just return the predicate from here. So let me stop my application again and start it again. And here we are applying just only one rule. The user age is greater than 30. So here we can see our application has started. So let me refresh the same endpoint. And here we can see the response we are getting two users which age is greater than 30 so let me add one more rule so go back to our controller class and here I will just go rule engine dot add rule and we have just defined two rules so let me add second rule name starts with sum so now it will return all the users which user have age greater than 30 and name starts with sum so here we can see we have only one user name starts with sum and age is greater than 30 so here both rules are satisfied so it will just return one object so let me go back and stop application and start it again So here we can see our application has started at port number 8080. So let me go and refresh the endpoint. And here we can see we are getting only one object based on our rules that we have defined in rule engine. We are getting the response. So like this we can implement our own rule engine. Okay, thanks for watching this video.